Welcome to a brief overview over multiple baseline designs. These are a single subject experimental design that allows for simultaneous analysis of two or more dependent variables. The intervention, which is the independent variable, is implemented to evaluate the effects across three categories of dependent variables, which are behaviors, individuals, or settings. To create a multiple baseline design, an experimenter must first collect baseline data on all dependent variables. Once each variable has a relatively stable baseline, the intervention is implemented for one variable and the baseline data continues to be collected for the others. If the intervention data for the first variable shows a trend in the desired direction, the intervention is then implemented for the second variable. This experimental sequence continues until the intervention has been applied to all dependent variables outlined in the behavior change program. A functional relationship is identified if the baseline data remains consistent until the intervention is implemented and causes a trend shift for each variable. Multiple baseline designs are divided into three different categories of dependent variables. The first is a multiple baseline across behaviors in which two or more behaviors of a single student are examined. The second is a multiple baseline across individuals in which a single shared behavior between two or more students is examined. The third is a multiple baseline across settings in which a single behavior of a single student is examined in two or more different settings. An example of a multiple baseline across behaviors is a student displaying inappropriate behaviors in a classroom. Once baseline data is collected, the intervention is implemented for each dependent variable one at a time. If each target behavior is reduced once the intervention is established, this shows a functional relationship. In this example graph, you can see that the top portion is the first behavior to receive the intervention and the bottom portion is the second. An example of a multiple baseline across individuals is a math teacher who wants to increase the multiplication skills of three struggling students. Remember that the intervention is implemented for each student one at a time. If each student's multiplication skills increase after receiving the intervention, this shows a functional relationship. This shows an example graph of a multiple baseline across individuals. An example of a multiple baseline across settings is a student using profane language during math and science classes. After collecting baseline data, the intervention is applied to the math classroom and then is applied to the science classroom. If the use of profane language decreases in both settings after the intervention was in place, this shows a functional relationship. If a functional relationship exists, the baseline data for each setting will remain consistent until the intervention is implemented. The trend shift should only be present after the individual setting receives the intervention, as shown in the example graph. I hope this video helped to make multiple baseline designs clear. Thanks for watching.